Ha, ha, ha. Make sure that we um, have our questions timed with Burbank flight path. So it's been a while since we last spoke mm -hmm. about the build. Uh, when was the last time you saw or over at Bodie's? Last time we filmed over there. Gets very frustrating for me because I'm used to, as a lot of people are, those uh, shows that go by really quickly. You see the car in a half hour. As you all know, this takes longer than a half hour. And it gets very frustrating for me to go see pretty much what you all have to see is six inches of weld. Yeah, look at that. We finished, we finished the welding. It takes a long time for these professionals to do what they do. As the process artist or process designer, I just set it up. This is what I'd like. Can we do this? I can't weld, although I'd like to learn how, but I can't weld, so. I still have ringing for my ears for all of the hammer pounding, getting those headlights on. Right. Mm -hmm. So what are you working on today? What? What? What's that? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm working on the rear. Uh, what do I call it? Uh, the rear cross, cross number. number. Yeah, but I'm making it out of round two. I gotta reach for the bolts in here to take off the box, and it's not gonna happen if I make it at a at a four by one, you know, rectangular tubing. I can't reach the screws to take off the box later on. Because remember, it has to go here, right? Across. Okay. And that with the way it works, I wouldn't be able to reach these screws to take off. But how are you able to reach it if it's round? Because it's round, it's coming across here. Right here. Oh, so basically you're saying that square would end up hugging much closer to this. It's going to almost be touching the But isn't the box. that up to you with the design? I mean, you could basically have the round tubing just be hugging it, and if you just made it a, like a sharper curve, isn't that just up to you how much you curve it? No, because okay. with the round... <laughs> <laughs> There's room for me to actually get a, a socket it. in here and take the box out. I, but with the square tubing, it's just... Is that because the round, you can't basically do like a hard 90 degree angle? You have, have to... to yeah, it. like okay. a big radius, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I, I do. I, wa I made these plates so I could put them inside here, right? Oh. You know what I mean? But I want them a half inch in. You mean in. like half the uh, end of the frame? Yeah. So you made these as caps. made this so I could weld the, the bar in here. Weld this in there. Got it. I think I got it. So it's going to be like this pretty much. Got it. But this, the plate, that tube is going to be welded to this plate. Okay. To be removable. So you're going to weld onto this top plate and basically that's weld the second plate onto here with both and have holes bored in it so that you're going to be able to screw yeah, it hold, on. Yeah, drill and tap and stuff like All that. All right, I follow. I follow. Really yeah, so I'm going to tack this to here. So that you this, can. I can have this, the right spacing. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I can just tack here, here. And then it also gives you something else to hold on to for the piece. That's pretty clever. All right. Wow. Pretty nifty there, So it's going to go in here like that. With yeah. this piece tacked in it, and then I can tack all around. Yeah. It's fucking hot. <laughs> oh, 
crazy how many different components go into just suspension and your ability to, to steer. You got foam center, you got geometry, you got roll center, insta center, you got everything that needs to be should be intact. Like this arm should be parallel. The steering arm should be parallel with this arm. Yeah. And the joint where it moves up and down should be even with this joint. If not, you get bump steer. Bump steer is when you, you're you driving in the road and you hit like a little crack. And your steering wheel goes like that. So what my Jeep does on a daily basis, basically. And you got terrible bump steer. That's it. Cross members are typically further into the body on most cars. They're not they're not typically right behind the rear bumper. So okay. I'm actually okay. making two. I'm making one for here and then one in the front. Like in front of the axle. Got it. Front of the rear axle? Also a cross member? Not a sway bar? A cross member and it's gonna have I think some type of bracket for the sway bar. Got it. So we can hook up the sway yeah. bar there. Okay. Alright. Just making sure that this body does not move. Exactly. Yeah. I don't like to use the real thing because I don't want to scratch it with hand. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. So why are you doing that right now? Because I sure need to see if it clears. Exactly. I need to know right. where to put uh. my hole. <laughs> <laughs> like the one that's going to be right here, about two feet away from this one, that one's going to be welded in, fully welded. This one's going to be a bolt on. Okay. And then plus I got to incorporate brackets that are come out the yeah. same area for the bumpers you know so. is there i mean obviously it doesn't seem to be like a huge concern but you're not concerned about the lack of strength with it being bolt on no is that mainly because it's there's not so much flex in the back that you're so worried about it or because there's going to be a second one be in the back because of the the back cross member right here got it that's that's the Actual. That'll be the main one. That's yeah, exactly. This is That's got a, it. the real cross member. This cool. is just kind of for extra support. Something like uh, that. The reason why you're putting in these little is is just to uh, make sure that you can move forward with other spacing. I'm assuming for suspension pieces. Because that will... keeps my ride height and got it. Keeps me uh, kind of where I need to be just to check my length on my. Because we're going to have to, once I mount the uh, sway bar, the sway bar sorry. I'm going to have to make the arms go somewhere around the shock. You know what I mean? Because normally we have a little bit more room in, in all our other cars. So, you know, it goes somewhere out here. Then your arm hooks to it. Your arm bolts about right here. What you, arm? For your sway bar. The, okay. So... Um, in this car, we don't have that much room, so I'm going to have to figure out how to keep the length and kind of come off of here somehow, back here. Wow. With the sway bar, yeah. And, and miss the uh, coil over. Wow. It's tight. <laughs> yeah. So the back piece, you already have welded in. Correct. So that this second piece is just bolted on, and you're gonna just uh, take it off, and then to weld the the cross member, and then right. bolt it back on. That's pretty cool. That's. Hopefully, hopefully the 